Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Luminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to create a practical example of using outputs from Zoom OSC to create automatic lower thirds for a Zoom meeting using Isadora as an automatic titler that we can then pass as an alpha channel into vMix. It's a lot of fun, I hope you enjoy it, and let's switch over to Isadora Pink and get started. So here it is, the bird's eye view of the Isadora patch, and what this is doing is it is taking a video, and it is uh, a video of a lower third, and it's just playing that forward when the active speaker in a Zoom call changes. So I just have this video stripey, which I'll show you in a uh, in its own sort of space here. So let me go ahead and just uh, force my stage preview. You can take a look at this. So this little video here is just uh, a logo and a lower third that pops up. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm just leaving it on black. I'm doing the alpha key inside of uh, the vMix program, which is a common program that's used for the generation of uh, broadcast to RTMP. So a typical workflow for me will be to ingest my talent into Isadora or directly into vMix. And uh, if I'm bringing the talent into vMix, what I'll do is I'll bring graphics into, uh, into vMix as well going through Isadora. And so Isadora basically acts as this layer on top of the entire production that's designed to do graphics, which is a really powerful way to work. So uh, I've been quite fond of that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hide my stages here and bump back into the main set. So you see this video, you see this video that plays forward here. Um, and what, what it does is on the change of an active speaker in Zoom, it goes ahead and it plays that with a little desaturate effect here to bring it into the company color scheme. And then it... Um, uh, plays that out onto the alpha channel and mixes in the text of the active speaker. Now, the magic of this is that we can actually get the username of the active speaker in a Zoom call, and I'm using Zoom OSC to do that. So uh, under my, um, my stream setup communications tab, I have uh, a listener here for Zoom OSC user active speaker. So when the active speaker in a Zoom call changes, Zoom OSC gives you some information about them, and I've just gone ahead and popped that onto channel 10. And over here, uh, you can see a freeze frame of my friend Tlaloc, uh, a great Isadora user. Um, and we were just in a Zoom call together and he was the last person to talk. So you see this sort of freeze frame of him being the last active speaker. So he was number two in my target list. He has this username in the Zoom call. Uh, he was the fourth person in the order of the gallery view and this was his Zoom ID. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking it and I'm saying, you know, a very rudimentary way of figuring it out if uh, if the text has changed um, on the username. And if it has, uh, this will be false. Um, and what will happen is we will immediately blank out with the zero line here any projectors that were displaying text. So this would be the, um, the username or the zoom ID. I put the zoom ID in the second bar of the lower third. And... Uh, that will prevent us from, if somebody cuts somebody off while they're talking, it'll prevent them from uh, having the wrong lower third on their name. Uh, but if it isn't that case, what it will do is it will um, go ahead and play this uh, from the beginning. And then we'll look at a certain point in this video, the lower third sort of drops through the floor. And when it does that, I am just ramping out a little bit ahead of that point. I'm ramping out the opacity of the projectors with the text. So the text fades away as the lower third falls through. And this creates this nice little titling effect. Um, the uh, yeah, then I'm just splitting off the uh, the text to be on one layer here, and the um, the lower thirds uh, container of the zoom ID to be on its own separate layer. So when you pass this back into vMix, what you get is something that looks a little bit like this. So now, as you can see, as the uh, users are talking in the Zoom call, their Zoom ID and their name pops up on screen with a nice little effect on the lower third. And this is all just controlled by Zoom automatically while they're talking. There's no uh, manual operation of these lower thirds. They just know to come in with a little bit of delay and a little bit of styling. Now, obviously, there's some things I could improve. Talalik's name's a little bit longer than the lower third graphic that I put in there, but those are the kind of things that can be adjusted very easily in Isadora. So it's just a workflow I like. I like using Isadora as an alpha titler for um, just to bring in graphics into my productions. And now I can basically have to, I don't have to think about, you know, titling a meeting anymore. I can just kind of let this run in the background and I'll know that I always have the right username on the active speaker if I need that kind of capability in a broadcast. So thanks for checking out this tutorial on Zoom OSC and the output system, and we'll see you in the next one.